Hey, it's Wei, and it's been a really long minute since I made any kind of video on my YouTube channel, but this video is going to be a gas video. Yes, it's based on my gadget addiction syndrome, and this time I'm super excited because I just got the Zoom UAC232 32-bit float first ever audio interface. I think there was another one before, but this is the one that really is going to probably be the affordable one that a lot of people can have access to. Now I know there's a lot of talk about why even someone even needs 32-bit float as an interface. If you just set your gains properly, you don't have to worry about that. But as a podcaster and sometimes recording my occasional random instruments that I play with at home, you just never know sometimes. Like you'll either just be a little bit too loud, you get too excited in the middle of an interview, or sometimes I've been so quiet that I actually drop out of like kind of like perceptible sound. It's like my inner ASMR self. So anyway, so what I wanted to do is do a real quick video. This is not a review or anything like that, but it's just to demonstrate the 32-bit float working. Now, I use Logic Pro normally, and so that doesn't even apply. So for those of you, I'll show you the little things just to let you know that yes, I have it. It's right here. Um, for those of you who use Logic Pro, don't bother. And if you're diehard and don't want to switch anywhere else and don't want to use any other DAW, um, don't bother with the Zoom uh, UAC232 because Logic Pro, I don't know what you're doing, Apple. Final Cut can record in 32-bit flow, but for some reason, Logic Pro X can't. So what I'm going to do to demonstrate instead is I'm going to use Audacity, which is a free software. It's a free application, Apple, that can actually record up to 192 kilohertz 32-bit float, which is the maximum output that the Zoom can provide. Massive files, but hey, at least I have that option, right? <laughs> okay, so just to give you an idea what my setup is, okay, I have um, the Earthwork Ethos microphone connected directly to that. There's a phantom power going through, and it doesn't need to be plugged in. It's actually powered through USB-C. And then what I'm going to do is show you this thing. So there are no gain knobs on the Zoom UAC 232. They use the digital mix control, which allows you to control the gain through these knobs right here. And if a streaming mix to do your mix over here with the pan left, pan right, for those of you who are streamers, for music, you could do the same thing here just by clicking on music, okay? And then you could do the loop back so you can loop back the stuff that you hear on your computer, okay? So what I'm gonna do right now is to demonstrate this as I am going to turn up the gain on the mix control here. So it's gonna be grossly and disgustingly loud. That's gonna be basically if I just uh, if I just fart, it'll actually clip. <laughs> All right. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record it. I'm gonna show you what the 32 what the benefits are of a 32 bit float. For those of you who record music or you just get have inconsistent um, range of volume when you're doing your podcasting or streaming, like you get super excited when you're doing something in your gaming or whatever the case may be, um, then this is something that you probably want to consider. So uh, let me go ahead and do this. Let me turn this all the way up. So if you are listening to this at a really high volume, I encourage you to lower it down so it doesn't blow out your speakers because it's going to be clipping like crazy and it's going to sound super, super gross. I'm total audiophile. I can't stand it, but it's such a cool thing to experience. Okay, here we go. I'm going to turn this up right here. And now it's like really stupid you ASMR. Okay, I'm going to hit record. And then you can see in the waveform just how disgustingly like blown out this audio is. It's like I can only do so much of this before my ears start to bleed. So hopefully you're not listening to this really loudly, this video anyway. So as you can see, the waveform is completely clipping all over the place. All right, enough of that. I'm going to stop. <laughs> all right. Okay, so much better. I like to keep it at 24 because 24 seems to kind of be consistent on all my applications, especially when I do Zoom meetings and everything like that. Okay, so now, here's what you're gonna do. Now, under normal circumstances, if you're doing 24-bit, 16-bit recording, if you're seeing this and you happen to see this recording, this waveform, it's like a heartbreaker, especially if you're doing something for, if you're doing some field recording and everything, and you say, okay, great, let me look at my recording, and it is peaking. Believe me, I've done that. I've done events where I recorded, and I don't. I only had 24-bit, and then when I went back to do some editing, I was like, oh my God, this sounds disgusting. It's like, un, it's unmanageable, right? So 
Um, just to demonstrate what it sounds like, again, I'm going to play it back, okay, uh, over here. Just so you can hear. I won't play it. And then you can see in the waveform just how disgustingly... Okay, enough. It's gross. We, we agree. It's gross. Okay. So... What you then do then is you you know highlight everything and you go into effects, go to volume compression and you go to normalize. We'll just do a nor regular normalization, bring it down. Look at that beautiful waveform. No longer clipping, the same thing. And let's go ahead and take a listen. And then you can see in the waveform just how disgustingly it sounds perfectly normal. Like blown out this audio is. No it's like noise, I can only do no so noise. much of this before my ears start to bleed. So hopefully you're not listening to this really loudly, this video anyway. So as you can see, the waveform is completely clipping all over the place. All right, enough of that. I'm going to stop. <laughs> How cool is that? Okay. Again, I did this just to demonstrate just kind of the possibilities and and just the flexibility and just kind of, a, it's kind of like a backup within a backup, right? So you don't have to worry about that. Now, obviously you have to have the right DAW and the right recording th pieces to, to match it because I also have a Zoom F3, which records it internally. So then I don't have to worry about synchronizing it with some kind of a piece of software application. However, this is just a really cool demonstration of how you know, the future of audio recording can be so much more forgiving when you can then just focus on creating the content, get as excited as you want or as quiet as you want, and then you can always fix it in post. Now, I know a lot of the purists say, well, then, you know, it's like planning ahead. It's like the difference between people who prepare for photography with film photography versus using uh, digital photography, right? It's the same kind of argument there, but hey, if your focus is in just creating content and you want to minimize accidentally screwing up anything because you're human, then this is probably something that would be good for you. Now, if you want reviews on the actual Zoom uh, UA, UAC232 interface and everything, I'm sure there's a lot of other people out there who are going to review it. I know um, Wayne Rex is actually going to record it and hopefully... He, I, I do a review and hopefully he does. Uh, but I just wanted to demonstrate just how cool this 32-bit float is, right? So um, there's a couple of things that I was I was frustrated with in the beginning, but um, I figured it out how to set up. There's a little bit of setup that you need to do uh, with the audio MIDI of the system. But if you just read the manual, you totally get it. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that. We'd love to hear your thoughts. If there's any other way, any other test you want me to do, but I think that pretty much demonstrates it. 32-bit float, audio interface, zoom, does it. And let's not even talk about the build quality. If you have a Moto M2, build quality is better because that's what I have. I was, that's what I kind of like was using prior to using the zoom. But anyway, uh, there it is. Hope you enjoyed it.